I'm there. Here we go. That's good. Let's make it go bigger. Oh, I better mute myself as well. There we go. Hello. It's foul outside today, isn't it? It's a proper dull, rainy, cold, wet February day, which actually means it's perfect for sewing. Today is the best kind of sewing day because you're not missing out on anything else outside. You can just hunker down where it's nice and warm. You've got all of your extra bits and pieces around you and you can crack on with sewing, can't you? Um, morning, Donna. Morning, Rosa. How are you? Hello, Karen. Hello, Maggie. Morning, ladies. How's everybody today? Oops, knickers. I'm losing fabrics already. So today, let's move that over there and then it won't just fall down the gap. There we go. That's better. Um, morning, Sue. Morning, Diane. Uh, oops. Morning, Linda. Very grey in London. Oh, I know it's not nice, is it? Morning, Maggie. How's everybody today? Morning, Martine. It's hot. I bet it's hot over there. Gosh, Sydney. It's going to be scorching. Scorchio. Oh, sorry, is my... What, that's, okay, <laughs> let me just readjust my microphone. There we go, is that better? Yes. <laughs> Matilda's getting twitchy over there, so that's okay. Um, morning, Susan, how are you? So today, grey and wet in Devon. I know, it's grey and wet everywhere today, apart from if you're in Sydney, of course, and then it's rather lovely. So today I thought we'd have a little chat about trousers and how do you find making them? Are they a bit of a nightmare? Because it's one of the things that you really cannot fit on your own. It's really hard, isn't it? Have you tried? Have you kind of tried to become a sewing contortionist where you're trying to kind of work out what's going on at the back and stuff like that? Um, oh, morning. Oh, Moira says it's, Ed, it's sunny in Edinburgh at the moment. I hope it lasts. I really hope it lasts. So I thought I've coloured up. Now you see, it's interesting. I had a really lovely time choosing fabrics this morning because I just went with what I liked, with kind of what colours worked. Sharon said to me, she goes, you like the fabrics today, don't you? I said, yes, it was much easier for me to pick them rather than just think, focusing in on a pattern and what works with that. It's really interesting how different people work, isn't it? Are you in part of a team? Do you find that? It's really interesting, isn't it? Um, oh, morning, Gretchen. Oh, lovely. Lots of people joining us this morning. So... Um, cold in Syracuse in New York, well below freezing. Oh gosh, I bet it is. We haven't had any snow here. And I think at the moment, if we did, it wouldn't last very long, which is a bit disappointing really. Um, morning, Ruth. Love my top. Well, this is, and I've got my cardigan on this morning because it's a bit chilly, but this is the Imogen. So Imogen is our pattern of the month in February because we've reworked it which is great. So we've got the new size ranges now for Imogen, which is fantastic. I'm just going to get rid of that pop-up because it's just annoying me. There we go. Um, yeah, so we've also included the dress version of this as well. Um, and it's got the lovely kind of notched version on the neckline. Or you've got something else um, that you can... You've got a different kind of neckline with it as well, which is brilliant. So, and I've also worn it today because it works brilliantly with all of our trousers. So that's cool. Oh, lovely people doing... Oh, Susan's doing trousers at the moment. Dee's doing a bit of pattern drafting, which is great. Sharon's popped up the link for the Imogen, which is brilliant. I'm going to have a slurp of water because I've got a proper tickly throat this morning. There we go. That's great. Um, <clears throat> so we thought we'd focus on trousers today and kind of what goes with them. Now, I'm going to talk you through the trousers that I've got behind me at the moment. So these lovely ones are our super wide palazzo pants that are from the book. Uh, Sharon's put my garden party. We've been having, there's a little bit of a story to this fabric actually. Um, I loved it. Well, I still do. And I kind of hid it so that Sharon couldn't put it on the shop. So um, I've had this roll of fabric hiding upstairs in my studio. And now I've actually got round to making something out of it. Sharon is perfectly justified in putting it available online. I don't try and hoard too many fabrics, but
but she's made me put this online, so I love it. I really do. It's 100% linen, and I just think it's fabulous. But wouldn't it look amazing with these lovely white palazzo pants, which I think are really cool. Now, palazzo pants are super wide, so they're almost like kind of culottes, but full length trouser length ones. So whereas a culottes is a kind of, culottes are normally kind of shorter, these are full length, and I just think these are perfect. I don't know if anybody has seen, this is going completely off on a tangent now, but I don't know if anyone has seen the trailers for the new Death on the Nile film, the new Kenneth Branagh, um, Agatha Christie, and it's got Dawn French and Jennifer Saunders in it. How cool is that? I can't wait till it comes out. These are the kinds of trousers that you would imagine wearing on the set of Death on the Nile. Perfect. Those beautiful wide-legged kind of 1930s little kind of top wear with it or a big long tunic that would go with it. I love them. I think they're brilliant. So those are the palazzo pants from the book. So they want a kind of fabric that's going to be nice and soft and drapey. So lots of the fabrics that I'm going to show you today would work for these. Now, of course, we've made them in our white linen. So linen just is a given, really. So all of these are going to work with linen. I've got this really weird pop up that keeps coming up on my. There we go. Oh, Rosina says it's blowing a hooli. I love that. And persistent rain in Barnstable. Um, well, I hope it clears up a bit for you over there. Um, the second pair of trousers, again, they're wide, but these are our Porsche trousers. And again, they're a kind of a nod to a little bit of Hollywood glamour, really. These were inspired by Catherine Hepburn. Slightly mannish, slightly masculine in, in kind of appearance, but I love them. I think they're brilliant, actually. They've got pockets on the back. They've got pockets on the front. We've got a proper fly zip on here as well. So quite a lot of different techniques to get your head round, which is quite nice if you want to extend your skill range, which is brilliant. And the instructions will talk you through everything brilliantly as well. Now, we have done this as an online sew along class and I think we're going to do it again actually because it was so popular so if you want to have another go at the Porsche if you want that to happen as another sew along let us know and we'll get that sorted again it want these want fabric that are a little bit softer a bit drapier although having said that I have made wide legged jeans out of this pattern and that looks really cool I'm really impressed with those um, and then we've got good old hero. Now this, oh, I can't tell you how popular this pattern is. It's absolutely amazing. It's got loads of different options here because it's a very slim trouser. Now it doesn't tuck under the bottom like a pair of jeans would normally do. It just gives you a really nice kind of tailored sort of look. So a nice firmer weight fabric would be brilliant for this. So I've made these in a stretch denim. We've got some of the really nice sort of cotton weight, I suppose a kind of cotton drill kind of weight, sort of denim-y kind of weight fabrics would work really nicely for this. Stretch cotton sateen, if you're looking for a print, that looks really nice as well. And then we've got Nell. Oh, these are secret pyjamas. Now Sharon has made these up in some of our embroidered double gauze. Oh, is that, is the printer's having a moment, it's isn't it? <laughs> we have our large format printer just over in the corner there. And uh, every now and then it kind of jiggles the ink. So it doesn't like to be sitting still too long. So it has a little bit of a jiggle and it just like, you know, agitates the ink stuff in there. So it has a little moment. So if you can hear anything in the background, that's what it is. Um, so these are our Nell trousers. Again, we've made them up in linen and they are absolutely a joy and a bliss. But if you're wanting something a little bit smarter, then one of our wool combination fabrics would be really nice for this. I've got a pair in a lovely dark grey um, Italian wool, which is just beautiful and they are so comfy. Sharon's made them up in the embroidered double gauze. And actually she was saying when we were sorting the fabrics out earlier on that she had thought that they would kind of bag at the knee a bit after wearing them for a while. Um, because she made them back in the summer, but they haven't. So that's actually really worth knowing. So you can make them out of the embroidered double gauze or any of our double gauzes and they won't bag at the knee, which is important. Um, so that's the Nell. And then I am wearing today, I've got my aerial cargo pants on. And these are 
super, super comfy. Now again, these ones are a little bit more technical. There are a few more processes involved in the Aerial. So we've got side pockets, we've got cutaway pockets, back pockets, and another fly as well. So, and it's got a half elasticated waistband too. Um, Sharon will put the link up to the pattern in a sec, but I love it because you, again, you can make them out of lots of different fabrics. I've made these out of one of the beautiful um, viscose crepes that we've got here. But again, you could make them out of linen. I've got another pair made in the um, Hunter's Green Linen. You could make it out of another. Anyway, it's loads of fabrics. I'm gonna go through the fabrics in a second because I think they kind of work nicely together. So we've got one, two, three, four, five pairs of trousers here today. Now, if you are struggling with trousers, again, we're here to help. So there will be a trouser fit course going up into the sewing studio in March. And we've got a little trailer that goes out on YouTube so you can get a little flavor of what's gonna be in there. We've also got the masterclass on trouser fitting, which I think is a brilliant opportunity to kind of nail the fit of several pairs of trousers. So you won't actually go away with making anything, but you will have the patterns sorted for the trousers that you want to wear because you can't really fit yourself, can you? It's a bit of a nightmare. Um, so we've got a couple of places left for that, which is coming up at the end of the month, actually, which I'm really excited to do. It's me teaching it, um, and I'm really excited to do that one because fit is so important, isn't it? It's not something that um, you can do quite easily on your own. So this is where we're here to help, which is brilliant. Um, so fabrics. Now, this is the interesting bit, isn't it? There we go. Oh, brilliant. Shouts popped up links to everything in there, which is lovely. Oh, sorry. Sorry. There we go. I need to have it hooked around my ear or something, so it's not <laughs> going to worry. Anyway, so I love this kind of colour combination. It's almost like a kind of crushed raspberry and navy, but lighter blue as well. So I think, now this is our Raimi. So it's, let me just double check the fibre content. Now it is 100% Raimi, so it's not mixed with anything. Now Raimi is like a kind of, it's a little bit like a viscose, but it's slightly heavier. And this has more of a texture to it. So, it's quite a lightweight fabric. This would work absolutely, I would say, probably for all of the trousers that we've got out today. It's light enough weight to be able to be drapey for the Palazzo and Porsche, but it's substantial enough to also make the Hero and the Nell and possibly even the Ariel as well. So I think this Raimi is an all round fabric that works with everything, which is brilliant. Um, to put that, I mean, I've pulled out, because we're kind of focusing on trousers today, I thought most of the fabrics that we've got here are going to be suitable for trousers. But I thought I would just throw in the odd fabric that's kind of like a top weight fabric, just so that you can kind of see how you can put things together. I keep getting this really annoying um, little pop-up that keeps coming up on my screen, which is very frustrating. But there we go. Um, oops. Oh, Mel, you're coming. Brilliant. That's cool. Lovely. That's good. Now, this is a cotton lawn and I think it's absolutely beautiful. I love the colours in this. This would work with lots of the fabrics that we've got out today if you're thinking of kind of outfit building. So we've got the Raimi here, which is in the raspberry. And this one is called... What's it called? It's called Flourish Cotton Lawn. There we go. Now, I think this works beautifully. Now, you could definitely make an Imogen top, which is what I'm wearing today, out of this. This would work fantastically. You could also make up um, a Celia top if you wanted to make that. You could make it that with or without the frills, which would work really nicely as well. Um, we could also do something like a Kate version, but as a tunic, that would work. If you were gonna put this with a pair of Hero trousers, that would work really nicely. So I'm going to pop that one. So this is Flourish. Did I say Flourish? Do you know what? I need to check myself. I can't remember. Yeah. Yes, it is Flourish. There we go. Good job. Someone's on the ball, isn't it? There we are. Now, again, if you wanted something that's a little bit more substantial, but you like the kind of pinky kind of tones, 
This is beautiful. Now this is our needle cord and it's got a slight stretch to it. So you can just see it has a little bit of give there, which is rather nice. Um, this would make up beautifully in the nail trousers actually and give you a really lovely soft, but almost, but so I think this kind of color again would take you right the way through um, from now until the summer. It's a light because it's cotton, it's gonna breathe as well. It's got that tiny bit of elastane in there that gives you that comfort, the movement in the fabric that gives you the comfort. Um, but I think this is gorgeous. This would make up, might be a little bit heavy for Porsche because Porsche is quite a wide leg. Definitely work for Hero, definitely work for Nell. Maybe not for the aerials because you want something that's gonna be a little bit more comfortable and softer to wear for those. But this would be amazing fabric. And then we've got the double gauze. Now, double gauze in wine. Now, this is lovely. I don't know if you can see, but it's got this little embroidered spot on the fabric there. Again, this would make up fantastically in the Nell trousers if you are looking for secret pyjamas, which Sharon tries to get away with wearing most of the time, actually. But there we go. Oh, we've got... Oh, it says page temporarily unavailable on that link. We might need to have a look at that. Ooh, bit of tech failure here, never mind. So this would work beautifully. Now again, you could make this up as a top to wear with any of the other fabrics actually, because this would work with lots of different things. But a pair of Nell trousers in this would be amazing, It'd be so soft. Um, it would also work as the Imogen top as well, which is another way of utilizing that kind of fabric. Now let's move those out the way and we can get onto some other ones. Um, anybody coming to the Stitch Festival, which we've got, that's our first show of the year coming up at the beginning of March. And uh, we're really looking forward to that. I'm hoping I'm not gonna come away ill from it again, but. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be masked up to the eyeballs, literally. Um, oh, morning, Julia. Don't worry. Don't apologise for being late. We're not going anywhere. We're here, which is cool. Now, I love this fabric. This is very kind of gauzy, very lightweight. So again, this would make up beautifully in the palazzo pants. So again, you've got that lightness to it. I mean, palazzo pants really are summer trousers, aren't they? So you want something that's gonna be lightweight, that's gonna be breathable, easy to wear. So this is absolutely gorgeous, I love this. It's a very dark indigo and white weave. So you've got kind of two colors woven in here, which is brilliant. So it gives it that kind of marley kind of look. Beach days, there we go. Actually, I'm just thinking completely off the top of my head, a Lavinia dress in this would look really nice as well, which is totally inappropriate for this kind of weather. But if you're thinking ahead um, and making summer dresses and stuff like that, then that would work brilliantly. Um, again, it would make up really nicely in the Imogen top that I'm wearing today. Um, and it would be, it would probably be soft enough actually and nice enough to wear for the aerial trousers if you want something really nice and lightweight for the summer. I think this is beautiful. I love this fabric. Please don't buy all of it because I want some for myself at some point when I get around to making something. Although my new sewing room is coming on a treat actually. I did manage to do a little bit of sewing in there this weekend. It's not, I literally have got a table, a chair and a sewing machine in there oh, and a lamp. And that's it. So I'm getting round gradually to sorting that out. Um, so what is this one called again? It's called Beach Days, I think. Yeah, Beach Days. Oh, it's a cotton and linen mix, which is rather nice. So that's lovely. So you've got the best of all worlds there. Now, this is one of the beautiful Atelier Brunette fabrics. Now, the other version of this, which is back here, is what I've got my aerial trousers made up in. And this is just beautiful. I love it. I don't know whether you can see it, but it has got a very tiny little satin spot woven in through the fabric. I don't know if I hold it there, you might be able to. I don't know if I, if I move it, whether you can catch the light there. The camera just sort of struggles to focus. Don't worry. Um, 
you can have a better look at this online actually because it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, oh, more comments coming through. Would that make men's PJs? Ellen, I think it probably would. If you're referring to the um, beach days, I think it might actually. Linda says, oh, you'll need shelves in your sewing room for all the fabric you want to hide. Do you know what? I can't hide. It's my sewing room, it's my fabric, and if I want to use it, I will. <laughs> so, and then Charlie's gonna have to put up with that. Mind you, I have got boxes upstairs in the big studio that I do need to go through and have a little bit of a sort out because, yeah, there is rather a lot of it. So I do need to get that done. Um, there we are. Oh, looking forward to the sewing room tour. Well, when it's there, when it's done, I will show you some photos so um, you can see how I'm getting on. Um, but this is lovely. Going back to fabrics now. Three, two, one, back to fabrics. Um, this is the Dobby Spot Crepe in Night. Now, it's a very dark indigo, and I love the colour, actually. It's brilliant. It goes really nicely with lots of different things. So, again, I've pulled out another cotton lawn here because I think that works beautifully with the Dobby Spot. So this is Flourish Cotton Lawn in Navy Dots. So similar kind of colorways to the first one I showed you, but this is lovely. But again, I'm gonna put, bring this, now this is the Chalky Pink Linen. Oh, but look at those, aren't they just gorgeous? They're so lovely. Now, again, this linen would work amazingly for our palazzo pants. That would just look gorgeous, it really would. And if you wanted to make a little top to go with it, I think the, the two of those, again, there's just such, it's a classy kind of color combination, isn't it? It's beautiful, it's subtle, and it's really elegant, which I think is marvelous. Let me just have a quick look, am I missing any? Oh, Donna says you're looking forward. You just kind of, you guys just want to have a nose around my room, don't you? Well, maybe we'll have to make that happen, actually. It should be quite interesting. Um, so I love this. So this is our chalky pink cotton linen. We've got the Dobby Spot Viscose from Maker's Atelier. Oh, no, not Maker's Atelier, Atelier Brunette. There we go. Dobby Spot Crepe. And we've got, I'm going to move these out of the way now. Pop that over there. Now this is another one that I have shown on several occasions. The trouble with this, the trouble with plain fabrics is you just can't feel it. And I, I wish you could actually, because this is just such a gorgeous, it has almost like that kind of peach fuzz kind of feel to it. It is so soft and beautiful. It's got a tiny, it's almost, yeah, it's got a little tiny kind of ridge going through it actually, which does give it a little bit of texture. But this would be absolutely amazing in a pair of palazzo pants or even the um, Porsche. Definitely the aerial that I'm wearing would be amazing in this and I am sorely tempted to make another pair actually. French Navy Viscose, there we go. Donna says, yes, definitely need a nose around. <laughs> I can't promise it's going to be particularly tidy, but there we go. Now, so again, this is just, I love that. Look at the way it's just, it has that lovely kind of proper drape to it. I think it's beautiful and I think you need it because it's lovely. We've got it in a darker kind of um, chocolate brown as well. So if you're more of a a kind of a warmer tone person than a cooler tones, then that would definitely work for you as well. Um, let's move these out the way. So we're getting onto some slightly lighter colours if you are planning ahead for spring and summer. Now this is beautiful. We've got this in several colours. And I think you could kind of get away with using it either way, actually. It's got a very tiny little kind of spot woven into this but it's a cotton mix let me just see if I can find the label where's it gone there we go so it's yeah it's a cotton with a tiny bit of stretch to it again so it has got that little bit of give which is really nice for trousers it just gives you that little bit of extra comfort 
as you're wearing them, which is wonderful. Donna says sewing rooms are never tidy. Well, yes. You should, uh, yeah, you should definitely see mine. It really isn't. Um, I love this. This is, it's like a very kind of pale denim blue, but it's almost like a, a kind of cornflower blue, which is lovely. So this would be an absolute must for the hero trousers. Absolutely, it would just be the perfect match. It really would, it would work brilliantly. I love it, I think it's gorgeous. And it's a really nice one to work with as well. If, you're, if you've never made trousers before, this is definitely the kind of fabric to go for because it's really well behaved and it's going to make up beautifully, it really is. So another kind of hero trouser combination would be this. This is just so beautiful, I love it. It's a printed, printed cotton sateen, but again, it's got a little bit of stretch to it. So it has that kind of comfort factor, which let's face it, that's what we need. Um, or oh, love this fabric for trousers, says Rosina. I, no, I know, it's absolutely beautiful, it really is. And the colors on this, I think are just gorgeous. So if you wanted a pair of kind of summer spring weight trousers, this would make up beautifully as the Gertrude jacket as well, just as a kind of a complete aside, but this would be amazing for the Gertrude jacket. You could have a, and then you can pick out buttons as well. Oh, yes. Now, don't forget, we've got lots of different buttons that are gonna work with trousers, and it does make a difference as to which one you're gonna use. Um, zips, we've got those as well, so we, for the um, Porsche and the Palazzo pants, you're gonna need a normal trouser zip. Now, I if you're gonna use something that's a lighter weight fabric, I would definitely go with a nylon. Just a normal dress zip would work perfectly. And we've got all of those here as well. So if you need anything, stick it in your basket and we can make sure we color match it for you. The Hero trousers have a concealed zip because they're a side fastening one, which is quite nice actually. Nell doesn't have any zip at all. It's an elasticated or part elasticated waist. And the aerial trousers, again, all you want is a normal dress zip. So that's perfect for your fly. Um, and these would be absolutely beautiful in a pair of hero trousers. Oh, they're so nice. I love that. Actually, now I've putting the two here. Let me just pull this out. This is, now Sharon made her Nell trousers, the secret pajama Nells. She made in this, but in the navy version. But actually, I'm just putting the two together, and they would work really nicely as well. So you could have a lovely pair of trousers and a interestingly embroidered top as well, which is brilliant. But this would be amazing as a pair of comfy trousers. Just what you want, just with a little white t-shirt and a pair of trainers or something like that, it would just see you through everything, wouldn't it? And I know, I don't know about you, are you starting to plan your summer sewing? I'm kind of trying to make plans for what I want to make this year. Now, whether I will actually get around to doing it or not, who knows? I'd like to think that now I have a space at home to be able to sew, I'll get a lot more done, but who knows? So, oh, brilliant. Sharon's popped up links to zips in there as well, which is fantastic. So you have got everything that you need. We've also got interfacing as well, which is a good one. So um, make sure that you get the right kind of interfacing for your fabric. What we also do, and what I would recommend as well, is always putting, wherever you're going to put a zip in, try and stabilise your fabric. So even if you're just cutting off like a, um, an inch wide strip of interfacing just pop that on where you are going to stitch your zip now if you're going to do a proper fly you'll be interfacing the fly sections anyway but i would if you've got a lighter weight fabric or something that's a looser weave like a linen i would always put a little bit of extra interfacing just where you're going to stitch your zip and that just helps to support everything as you're making it all up um oh jan says morning haven't worked with double gauze yet does it have any quirks um I would try a little bit at home on your sewing machine, just with normal settings. Whenever you're working with a fabric that's gonna be a little bit tricky, I would always do test pieces first. And I would always start with your machine on the normal kind of settings, so that you know if you need to do any, anything to it, you've got that kind of as a benchmark. So you know how it's gonna behave 
when your machine is in its kind of default setting. I have found that I prefer to stitch double gauze with a walking foot because it can stretch. Where it's crinkled, it will kind of stretch out a little bit. So I would try with a normal foot just on your sewing machine and see how that goes. And if you're finding that it's puckering or stretching or something like that, then I'd use a walking foot. But otherwise, it's dead easy. It behaves itself. It kind of sticks to itself a bit, which actually makes it much easier to sew. So um, I think it's a really lovely fabric, actually, which is great. Uh, Maria Morris has still got to finish last summer's sewing. Well, we didn't really have much of a summer last year. Hopefully it's going to be a bit better this year. But there we go. Right, let's move some of these out the way. So oh, I love this. I think this is so gorgeous. Yeah, definitely a Gertrude or a pair of heroes for that. I think it would look amazing. There we go. Now, let's move this one. You can, f can you feel how it's got a bit more of a crunch to it, hasn't it? Which is rather nice, actually. So for heroes, it would definitely hold its shape and be really nice to work with. There. So I'm going to pull out now navy linen. Everybody should have at least one piece, one item that's made out of lay navy linen because it just kind of goes with everything doesn't it now navy linen will work with all of our trousers probably not hero it's a little bit light weight for hero because hero you want something that's a bit more structured so but it would definitely work with palazzo i've got a pair of porsche made out in it nell trousers would be perfect and the aerial as well oh she's off again next door <laughs> I think. Now, if we're thinking about tops to go with, now this is lovely. This is a cotton poplin, but it has all my favourite colours in it, which is really nice. So, it's like a kind of a little flower bud kind of thing. She's off again. Can you hear her? Yeah. <laughs> Just make me laugh. Um, oh, now there we go. We've got the cargo pants, the aerial kits, and we've got the linen up there. Brilliant. Jan says, walking foot at the ready. Just give it a go, have a play and see. I would also make a note. Now, in the sewing studio, we've got some sewing planners in there, which are brilliant, so you can download those for free. And it's worth collecting. You've got, also got space in the sewing planner then for um, collecting your own fabric samples. And it's worth exactly like this kind of thing. If you're working with a fabric that you've never worked with before, just cut out a little sample of it and just say, oh, made sure I use the walking foot, something like that. Because then when you come back to use it again or something similar, you're kind of pre-warned as to how it's going to behave, which makes life so much easier. It's all about the process, isn't it? And it keeps it easy. Oops, there we go. Just making sure I'm not missing anything. There we go, floral pods, this one's called. I love the two together. And again, I think my necklace would work rather nicely with this. I think, I think she saves it all up for oh, Tuesday morning, which is quite funny. Um, I think those are rather lovely. So again, it's just a normal 100% cotton poplin. It has a little bit of a texture to it, which is really rather nice. It's not a smooth cotton. It has a little bit of something to it, which makes it a bit more interesting, actually. Let's move that one out of the way. Now these, let's move these down a bit. Ooh. There we go, that's my exercise for the day. Um, so now oh, let's move those out of the way. We'll get those out of the way first. Now we've got several of these and now they're different kinds of patterns, but they're basically a navy background with a little star dot shape woven into them with white. And actually, I think they work really nicely together. We've got several of these. We've got another star one. This is a diamond. But again, it's a light enough weight fabric. You can see how it's behaving here. It's got enough drape so that you could make a pair of palazzos, make the Porsche. It might be a bit soft for Hero but it would give you a different kind of a look. Definitely work with Nell. 
um, and probably even the aerial trousers as well would be really nice. So we've got this one which is a darker, almost black, it's like a night, midnight kind of blue. And it's called navy and white pebble cotton. But I love, look at the, look at the selvage. That's really interesting as well, isn't it? So you could use that. I would almost use that as a trim, actually, which is rather lovely, which is really cool. Oh, I'm holding it too high, aren't I? There we go. That's it. It's got that lovely kind of fringy effect as well. So you could make sure you use all of that as well, which is really cool, which is a lovely one. I like that. And then we've got this one, which is... Oh, no, where's the label? Sharon will stick the link up in a minute. No, no label, Sharon. <gasps> it's another navy background, but it has like a little tiny square woven into it. Now, again, it's probably doing bon going bonkers and strobing on the, um, on the film. Ah, there we go. Navy woven cotton dot, that's it. And then we've got navy and white pebble cotton. So the navy dot is this one and the pebble cotton is this one. So again, both of them would work really nicely. I think you probably could get away with a pair of hero trousers for this actually, because it would give them more of a kind of soft, unstructured kind of look, which would work really nicely. Um, and again, navy is such a base for everything else, isn't it? Now this crepe is the fabric I have got my aerial cargo pants out of and I love it it's so soft it can be a little bit tricky to work with so I would definitely recommend making sure that you cut things on the grain that's really important and you can now you can actually rip this if you want to make sure that it's definitely on the grain and you could even just follow the threads you could pull a thread that's actually quite a nice way. Maybe that's another technique we need to do is pulling a thread so that you get the grain. Ooh, more ideas. Brain's always working. Um, but I would definitely recommend making sure that you have got this on the grain. Now, if it means taping it to the table to get it to kind of say, stay square, then I would do that. Absolutely. Because it's going to make everything else so much easier. And I found that I had to double check that everything was on the grain properly when I made it up. Now it sounds like it's a really complicated, oh God, can I be bothered? But actually I think the aerial cargo pants are more of a slow sew kind of project. And that way you can get your head around all the processes involved and take your time doing it and actually enjoy what you're doing, which is what it's all about really. Oh, there she goes. So this is our Atelier Brunette crepe and it's absolutely beautiful, I love it. Again, it would work because it's so soft and lightweight, it would work for all kinds of different tops as well, particularly the Imogen that I'm wearing, which is rather nice. Now, this is another colorway of the cotton, the blue one that I showed you just now. So this is the silver, and I think, again, it's, you can see the stretch in there, which is really rather nice. So that's brilliant. Um, and so again, hero trousers would look amazing. So I've put a couple of other prints in here. Now this is a new t-shirt fabric. Now this is a kind of slightly heavier weight to still a single jersey, but I love this kind of 60s geo print. I think this is so cool. I love it. So I love a fantastic, you know, top, just a really simple kind of top and trousers combo with this. I think it would look amazing. Um, this would make up brilliantly in a snug t-shirt. You could do a Regan out of it. You could do a Julia top out of it. That would work really nicely as well. If you want something that's slightly bigger and, and looser. But I think the combination of those two works brilliantly. Rather lovely. Now, actually, I didn't know. Was it Sharon mentioned to me? Now, this is for Instagram, okay. Seamus, if you're watching, you are allowed to make comments. My, apparently my son was stalking me last week on social media because he was watching the Instagram live as we were out here. So I'm just waving at Seamus if you're there watching. You can talk to me on the, online, it's fine. So yeah, just I've probably totally embarrassed him now, haven't I? But that is a mother's job, isn't it? Let's face it. 
So I'm going to put those two down now. This, I love this. This is so cool. Again, actually, this would make up really nicely in the Gertrude jacket. So if you want something, if you're kind of, it's quite a neutral, so it will go with lots of different things as well, which I think is lovely. So let's put that there. Now, this one I think is so cute. Now, this is the third colorway of that fabric. So we've got it in a kind of a denim blue, a silver gray, and this beautiful kind of coral color, which I think is gorgeous. I can't remember what we've called it now. Oh, they just call it red. It, well, it's, yeah, it's kiss, it is red, but I would say it was more of a coral, actually. It's almost like my, my nail varnish, which is quite an orangey red, which I think is really cool. So again, another pair of hero trousers in this would look fantastic. And we've pulled out the navy multi-spot, which I think is really cute. Yes, navy multi polka dot cotton jersey. Um, and again, this would go with so many of them. You could put it with the grey, any of the navy fabrics that we've shown, the, uh, the kind of denim blue, cotton, dobby, and it would be brilliant actually. It just picks out some of the brighter colours in there. So the combination of that I think would look really cool. And I'm just trying to think what I would style it with actually. Ooh, a nice pair of um, navy patent loafers or something like that would just smarten it up a bit, wouldn't it? That would be really cool. I like that idea. Lovely. Now, again, this is something that's a little bit brighter, but it's a cotton stretch. So again, it's got that little bit of give to it, which is rather nice. Um, and this has got, I think, again, it's a lovely, if you want a patterned pair of trousers, it's quite nice to have a darker background. This is beautiful and it's got these lovely kind of orangey coral I think there must be hibiscus or something like that flowers in there actually. There we go. But again, this would make up brilliantly. It's a softer weight, so you could definitely get away with um, a pair of heroes in this. I think if you, I think you probably could, maybe you even could do a pair of palazzo pants actually. I think they would work rather nicely because it's quite a light weight cotton which is really nice again a nell pair of trousers would work with this with a lovely kind of cotton kind of peachy orangey t-shirt top i think would look great hawaiian tropical print i like this one it's rather lovely so that's a nice warm one now i'm going to shove that out back there i'm going to move that one back as well Oh, actually, that's rather nice too, isn't it? I'm just thinking now, just off the top of my head, a pair of Nell trousers in the soft needle cord would be really lovely. And then with a lighter coloured Gertrude jacket to wear with it. Actually, the, those two go so nicely together, don't they? Oh, um, Josie says, where's my necklace from? It's lovely. Do you know what? My necklace is actually from this amazing little shop in Brighton called appendage and it's in um dukes no not dukes lane oh god i can't remember now well no i can't remember anyway it's north lanes in brighton and i first bought stuff from there over 30 years ago and it's just the most amazing little shop it's got full of just gorgeous things the kind of like artisan made earrings and jewelry and paintings and all kinds of stuff in there it's called appendage I don't know if they do online, but I tend to pop in there whenever I'm in Brighton. So that's where my necklace is from. Thank you for asking. Um, so I think a Nell and Gertrude combo here would look really rather nice actually, in the brick red needle cord and the red dobby spot, although it is more of a coral than a red. Now I'm gonna put those two together as well. Now this is one of our English wools. It's a Yorkshire tweed and I think, it, well, is it tweed? I, suppose, I don't know whether it is a tweed specifically, but it has that kind of tweedy look to it. And again, this is absolutely gorgeous. So these, a bit of pattern matching is going to be involved, but I think it would be worth taking the time and trouble for this. Um, a pair of Porsche trousers would look fantastic in this check. And then maybe with a Gertrude jacket in the corduroy, 
I think would be a really amazing combination, actually. I love that. I think it's so cool. You could even do it the other way around, actually. You could have a Gertrude jacket and a pair of um, hero trousers. So you're kind of mixing and matching there, which I think would, be, would work really nicely as well. Kensington Gardens. Thank you, Linda. Yes, Kensington Gardens. That's where it is. So you clearly you know the shop. I love it. Yes. There we go. And fortunately, now my daughter's at uni down there, I should be spending probably more money than I want to in there whenever I go down. Um, so this one, I can't remember what it's called now, Sharon's put British wool check. There we go. It is such an amazing quality fabric. It really, really is. Oh, it's so nice. It's not, it's not scratchy either. You know, sometimes you get those wools that are a bit kind of scratchy, but this isn't. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. So let's move those over to the back. And that one, we can move these forwards. Now, so this is the kind of green kind of section. Now, again, we've got the Raimi here, which is in a khaki. And I love this fabric. It's so robust. It has texture to it. It is a bit more of a casual kind of looking fabric because it has a slightly sort of washed out look to it. But I like that. I think that works really nicely. So again, this fabric, um, we've got other colorways here as well, would work brilliantly for um, the Porsche, a nice wide leg pair of Porsche. You could certainly do the um, hero trousers in this as well and definitely Nell and the Ariel. So I think it would kind of work with everything actually. It depends on the kind of colours that you want to go with. Now this is very similar. Gardener's Paradise. So that was what the, this is what the fabric is called. Gardener's Paradise. This one is in navy and green. And we had the other one, which was in the jade and uh, the teal and grey. So I think this again would work really nicely. If you just want something that's a little bit funky. Um, I think it would be really cool. Now, I have to say, just again, completely distracted here, but I think this would make up beautifully in the Cordelia dress. I think it would be so cool, especially for um, coming up in the spring. I think that's lovely. We've got the Hunter's Green linen as well. Now, I just adore this fabric. I've got a pair of aerial cargo pants made out of this at home actually and it was a bit of a toss up as to which one I was going to wear today. Um, I love this fabric and again this colour, you'd be amazed at how many different things this kind of dark green goes with actually. It looks amazing with like a raspberry pink or a bright red, it looks fantastic with um, teal or turquoise, so there's lots of different things you can actually wear with this that will lift that particular colour which is why I love it so much. Um, so that's a kind of like a darker green kind of colour. So we've got Gardener's Paradise there, which is another kind of colour option that you might want to put with that. Now, oh, this one I think is just amazing. Blissful Brambles, it's called. Now, I love that. But again, you can see what I mean about different colours working with this dark green base because we've got that beautiful bright red and we've got the coral in there. And I think that looks amazing as a color combination. That's really cool actually, I love this fabric. It's another single jersey, so it's really easy to work with. And again, it would make up brilliantly into the snug, the regan, a Julia top. Um, and again, I think this would look amazing in a Cordelia dress as well. Be really cool, especially if you were going to a wedding or something like that, that wasn't particularly formal. Cordelia is such a, cool kind of shape it works with everybody um, and I think this is lovely it is available as a standalone course as well if you are interested so I think that would work with those dark green fabrics so similar colors but different kinds of fabric so that you're going to get a different kind of look with them which is quite important so let's move that out the way now we've got now, this is a fabric for now, really. So if you are looking to make up a project for now, a pair of Nell in this, I think would look amazing. Lovely, really nice, comfy, soft, cool needle cord, but it has got a bit of stretch. Look at that. So it has got that little bit of give there to it as well, which is brilliant. 
So I love that. And again, look at that. It would work so nicely with the Blissful Brambles. Another perfect combination. I think that's gorgeous. So I'm going to pop that over there. Now, in terms of colours, again, we've got Burnt Orange. Now, this is lovely. This is a linen mix. So it's a linen and viscose fabric. So it's a lighter weight one. So again, this is going to probably be better for something like the Palazzo pants or the Porsche. Sounds like Charlie's arrived. He's trying to get through the kitchen window. <laughs> he has to. Charlie's got an electric car. So when he arrives, he has to kind of poke the plug through the kitchen window to plug it in to charge up the car, you see. So that's what we can hear. It does sound like we've got animals trying to break in or something like that, but there we go. So this is lovely. It's like a burnt orange color, which is gorgeous. So this would be amazing for Palazzo pants, actually. It's that lighter, soft kind of fabric. We can see as I'm moving it here, you can see how it works. Oh, there it goes. Hello, we're still going. Oh dear, it's gone back out again. <laughs> Poor Charlie, he came in, started coughing and just went straight back out again <laughs> into the rain. Oh, bless. Never mind, eh? Oh, poor Charlie. Um, back to fabrics. Now, I love this. This is another cotton mix. It's called Dusk Flower, Flower Power. But again, I love that. That's such a pretty one. Now, this is more kind of top fabric, really. So... Again, this would make up into an Imogen. You can make a Kate tunic or a Celia tunic. Um, trying to try to creep in now. <laughs> He's going to try to creep into the kitchen. Sorry. <laughs> I suddenly had a cough. Oh no. Um, this one, to go back out again. <laughs> oh dear. There we go. We are live. So these things happen. So again, this would, I think, work with one of the darker navies. Now, oh, that lovely peach skin one. Oh, that would be so nice with this. Um, as well as the darker Raimi. This is, this is another burnt orange one, but it's the Raimi, so it's slightly heavier than some of the other, than the other burnt orange one that I've just shown you there. But again, Raimi works with all of our trouser designs, so that's fantastic. Oh, Charlie's getting, Charlie's getting mentions. Oh, I want the dark green needle cord and the blissful brambles. They look gorgeous together, says Edwina. I think you do, Edwina. You need those. You need them in your life. I think they are a fabulous combination, actually. They work brilliantly together. They are so lovely. Uh, oh, so morning, Charlie. Morning, Charlie. I know, he's trying to creep it. He can't creep anywhere, Charlie, can he, really? Bless him. There we go. So I'm going to move that one out to the boards at the back there. And we've got those. Now, this is the kind of chocolate version of the navy one that I showed you earlier. And I love it. I do. Oh, it just... It's such gorgeous fabric, it really is. It hangs beautifully, it feels gorgeous, and it just works. This would be amazing as a pair of um, aerial cargo pants, or even Nell, actually, or possibly even winter palazzo pants. Don't know whether you were kind of, yeah, more Porsche, perhaps. Palazzo, you kind of, they're so wide, they're just gonna get covered in mud, aren't they, really, this time of year? But Porsche, I think, would be really lovely. So this, I think, would work really nicely as a pair of Porsche, Nell, or Aerial Cargo. Last couple of fabrics I want to show you. Let's move those out of the way. Now, again, oops, this is another Dobby Spot. So it's kind of like an olivey sort of green. What colour have we called this? No label. Oh, there we are. There we are. Found the label. Yeah, it is olive green. There we go. So this is the same as the wine coloured one that I showed you right at the beginning. And again, this would work perfectly as a neutral because it's going to go with lots of different things. So again, this works fantastically with a bright red or a raspberry or even our 
um, chartreuse linen would look amazing with this actually. So again, a pair of really nice comfy nail trousers, secret pajamas. Um, in fact, this would be quite nice for blokes' pajamas, to be honest. So I think that would work really nicely as well. Brilliant Sharon's popped up the links there. Now the last two I kind of want to put together because I think they just are a joy and a bliss. Now this again is our Raimi, but it's in olive. Different kinds of olives, don't know. This is a brighter green. Again, it's a lovely fabric. It has that texture to it, so it's gonna work with everything. But I love this. This is called Chameleon Spot. Look at that, it's so cool, I love it. Again, you can see how green works with other kinds of colors. So we've got a little kind of a pale teal, we've got the bright red, we've got the coral, the um, kind of bright acid yellow. It just works so nicely together. So again, if you're thinking tops, uh, we've got Regan, we've got, um, my brain's gone completely dead now. We've got the whatever t-shirt you wanna make with it. One of ours, preferably, would be quite nice, actually. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the name of the t-shirt. <sighs> Snug, that's it, complete brain fade. Clearly I haven't had enough coffee this morning. A snug t-shirt would look really cool in this. Even a Julia, an oversized one, would work brilliantly with this as well. So hopefully you've had a choice of fabrics there to give you a little bit of inspiration for how you'd put them together. Um, don't forget, we have got a couple of spaces left on our Trouser Fit Masterclass, which I think is a really nice one because that's going to... Thank you, Donna. She said snug. That's fine. Um, What's the difference between Raimi and linen, says Josie. Uh, linen is a totally natural fabric, so it just literally comes off of the flax plant. Raimi is a reconstituted plant fibre, so it's treated in a slightly different kind of way. Although it's technically natural, because it comes from plant-based cellulose, so um, it isn't a, it's a kind of processed, it's still a man-made fabric. So it's not a completely natural one. So those are the differences really. Um, but I love it. It is a really nice fabric to work with actually. Um, Jan popped up the link for the Fit Masterclass again. Jan says, sport for choice. I know. Loads of lovely things going on. We've got more fabrics coming in than we know what to do with than we can even fit in here actually. So it's great. Because of that, we're having a bit of a sale. So do have a look on the website. We've got a, a sale section. Um, and we've got quite a few fabrics in there as well because we simply need to make room for some of the new ones. So you have a little bit of a bargain to be had there. So do hop over and have a little bit of a rummage and see what we've got going on in there as well. Oops, what have we got? More comments coming in, that's lovely. Um, is there likely to be another trouser fit later on in the year? Probably Jan, yes, but we're trying to have a look and see when we can fit things in at the moment. Um, and we've also got, um, the re now next week, no, this week, gosh, where am I going? We've got our first retreat of the year, which is so, I'm so looking forward to it. I really am, it's gonna be really good fun. Um, but we have got two more throughout the year. So we've got one in May and one in August. And I think we have got a space left in May. So if you're interested in coming and having a fantastic sewing weekend with us here at a hotel in Stratford, that's definitely one to have a look at. Um, oops, there we go. Sean's popped up the link to the sale fabrics as well. Uh, thanks for joining us. Linda says, great, got to go. Husband and I standing with his hand on the front door. <laughs> See you next week. No, that's cool. Lovely. So I'm hoping you're a bit inspired. Have a look. Think about trousers. How do you go about fitting yours? If you're having problems, come and join us as well. And hopefully we'll see you next week. So take care.